Hello everyone and welcome. Today I will be playing Move 78. Um, this game can be found on Steam. For now, can only be wishlisted. The planned release date is uh, 4th of August this year. And um, on Steam, the game says eight strangers awaken an unfamiliar complex. They find themselves forced to solve intricate puzzle rooms and fight for their lives in a deadly games. What happened to the outside world and why do they all remember the face of a serial murderer called Boot, the Botfly Killer? <clears throat> Interesting. Uh, the developer and the publisher is uh, Michael Joseph. Uh, both. And um, we will be playing his game today. So make sure to check out the link in the description and uh, wishlist the game on Steam and when it comes out make sure to purchase it if you enjoy what you see um, okay let's begin a new game and I'm gonna leave the story it's been two hours since Arian lost uh, heard uh, the sound of chaos Death and gunfire. With a pained groan, groan, he squeezes out of his hiding place and drags himself. I thought we were supposed to be safe here. What am I supposed to do now? Yarin pulls up his sleeves and checks uh, the display on the device that's attached to his arm. Still nothing? Cautiously he begins moving towards the end of the corridor but is halted when a stranger dis distortion appears like a bridge in reality. Human. Shit! A grotesque humanoid creature appears in front of him. It seems to be the origin of the voice. Your comrades. Many we have found. We play our games. Others try to hide from us. We sense their fear, their excitement. They think they are safe. Tell me where they have gone, and I will set you free. I don't know anything about that. Do you think you can hide them with your steel and wires? I will have them as I have you. And when your mind gives way, as so many others have, you will provide them to me. I'll never help you. You will. You cannot win this war. Your suffering feeds us, sustains us. We grow strong. You grow weak. How does it feel to be alone? One against many. You won't be winning for much longer. I promise you that. We know what you are planning, human. You care that much about your comrades. Then I will link your fate to theirs. Reality changes around Arian. He finds himself trapped in a world that is no longer his own. 
What a strange place it's brought me to. Yeah, Aaron. I should take a look around. Okay. So inspecting. Some items can be picked up. You can rotate and inspect them while they are in your hands. It's a sword. We have it in our inventory. Ornate sword. Okay. This, what is this? It's way too hot to put my hands in there. I agree. It's way too... And I suppose it's way too hot to put your hands in here. So is there somewhere that I can use that? I don't think so. And yeah, some snakes, some vermins, some what is this behind us? Okay, so far so good. Interesting. Okay, now it gets even more interesting. It's way too hot to put. I need some light. I'm really scared. Oh, okay. Some satanic signs. Are you there? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Shall I keep the door locked? No. Okay, it's open. Alright. But is there something? Oh, another door. Another room, actually. Let's see, maybe we can find something else. Okay, things are getting much more interesting. The puzzle side of the game, it's uh, starting to show up. So, I've been stuck here for a day now and I still can't work out this puzzle. I know that the lock works dif differently from a normal one. Move the middle mechanism up down, left or right instead of using numbers. This type of lock uses a combination of directions to open it. For example, instead of 1, 1, 2, 3, it could be something like right, right, down, left. If you mess up the combination, push down on the silver top part of the lock to reset it. Okay, so I know it's a combination of, uh, of 4. That I know. That I know. But this is the only note we've got. So, maybe this has to tell us something. Two, four. <coughs> so it's six. Two, four, nine. Um, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, 
says something about resetting. Push down on the silver top part of the lock to reset it. Okay. So it's not this. One, two, three. So right down top. Right down top left. It's not working. Uh, let's go to hint to reveal hold one other than what's on the wall above there's no extra information needed yeah I was I was sure it has something to do with that okay let's uh, try to fix it with hint one so the wall above Why is that different? <sighs> okay, let's try something. Maybe... Uh, okay. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's not helping me, the information on the wall. It's not helping me. I might have to use too many hints. But let's use the hints. There are six directions in the combination and six different groups of colors. Six directions in the combination and six groups of colors. Yeah. doesn't help me up and right are the first two directions in the combination up and right are the first two up and right so it could be five three Four, three, four, six. <sighs> Does it help me? Five, one, two. Five, one, two, three. It doesn't work. <laughs> it's way too. It does not work. Okay, let's let me try a little bit more on my on myself on my. Okay, guys, I think I know the solution. So basically, it's the numbers of, uh, of, let's call them eyes. So we have one here. So the first one, it's a numerical order. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. So we have one here, two here, three red here, four white here, five orange here, and six blue here. And that's how we we do it. So top, right, left, down, top, left. And it works. Amazing. It's still warm. Giant eye. I think this guy needs a new eye. 
And I don't think I know. Does it have to do it? So we've got one. Black is one. This guy. This guy stands up. I'm trying something here. Up. This guy stands on the right. No, on the right. This guy stands upside down. This guy stands on the left. I don't have a blue one though. Now, whatever I'm trying to do here, that's not gonna work. And why is that? I've got no idea, I need a hint. Some of the information for the solution is not in this room. But where is it? If it's not in this room, where is it? Okay, so we have red on the left and on the right. So white and red on the left and on the right. Okay, on the left, white. On the left. And on the right. Left and right. Let's m let me check again. Left and right. Left and right. Again. Okay. Now. Okay. Left, upside down. Oh yeah, it fell. Okay, that was all the hint I needed. It wasn't that hard, but... Whoa! It is scary. What is the completion completion hash? Complete completion hash. <sighs> what? What is it asking me? Should you make a guess? Damn it! He was right. Only the others would know what this code is. He checks his uh, bracelet once more. The screen is still blank. I guess I'm stuck here until I hear from them. Sigrid, please hurry. I need your help. What's the code? I've had a reoccurring dream lately. It always starts in my dorm room. I wake up feeling discouraged. Hopeless even. I have been searching for someone close to me. I am looking for a possible victim of the botfly killer. I tell myself there's no proof. There's no news of anyone finding a corpse. No new addition to the grown statistics. The thing is, I can't even visualize the person I'm trying to find. I only know that it's vital that I get to them before the worst happens. Maybe what I need is a distraction. I can finish that paper that's due by the end of the week. As 
I sit down at my desk, my phone chimes with a new message. It's from someone named Jaeger. It reads, What's up? I'm about to jump into a game. If you're up for it, wanna join me? Strange. I don't remember receiving messages when I had this dream before. Who's Jaeger? At least I have someone on my side. I hate the thought of going at this alone. I've only just put the phone down when it rings again. It's a call from an unknown number. Hello? I saw your friend. The one reported missing. In your flights. Who is this? I can't talk now. Meet me in an hour. At the warehouse on Stockton Street, Southwark. I'll tell you everything you need to hear. But... They dropped the call. It's so strange. It sounded like the caller was using a voice changer. Why did they want to disguise their voice? This situation is setting off all sorts of alarms in my head. With everything that's going on in the world right now, risking a meetup with a stranger makes me feel more than a bit uneasy. But it's my only lead. I have to follow it. I shoot a message to Jaeger about the meeting, then I grab my jacket and head out the door. It's been over an hour now and no one has shown. Was this all just a hoax? Hello? Is anyone here? No one. Wait. What's that noise? Sounds like... flies? I take out the small knife from my pocket. To think that carrying a weapon like this on the streets of London only a year ago would have been illegal. With the spreading paranoia and rising violence, it would be stupid to walk around without any protection. Just ahead of me, nestled in the shadows, is a closed door. The noise is coming from there. I approach it, reach out to touch the cold metal door handle. I feel a pulse throbbing in my head and notice that my hands are damp with sweat. But I have to know. I open the door. Where am I? I was dreaming. It's that same dream I keep having. It's not quite the same though with that Jaeger person messaging me. But it does end the same way. Opening the door to that warehouse. Where am I? Who brought me here? Hello? Is anyone there? For a moment, a deafening silence is the only reply to Sigrid's question. Wait, are those footsteps? The door to the room is forcibly opened by two ah! men. I'm right! There is someone here. So you are. A tall, thin Asian man who looks to be in his twenties is the first through the door. He is quickly followed by a gruff-looking man with a small scar on his face. Sigurd guesses that he is most likely in his late thirties. Stay back! The demoneros of the bigger man immediately switches to something less threatening. You're okay, ma'am. There's no reason to be afraid. We're just like you. Trapped in this place, whatever it is. My name's Hunter, and this is Max. What about you? Uh, I'm Sigrid. Where am I? To be straight with you, we were hoping you might tell us. I'm sorry. My brain's all foggy. It looks like she's the same as the rest of us. We all seem to be suffering from some sort of amnesia. We just woke up and started exploring this place. It's enormous! 
We were trying to map it out before we stumbled into this room and found you. Sigrid, you should join us. Safety in numbers and all. There are other men and women in our group. Everyone is waiting for us in another room, not far from here. So, Sigrid, what do you say? What choice do I have at this point? It's better than being on my own. Okay, I'll come with you. That's what I like to hear. Follow us. We're back. Not alone, I see. The blonde woman has scars from burns on her hands. The long sleeves of her jacket prevents anyone from seeing how much more of her body is scared. Sigrid takes note of the woman's French accent. It stands out from the American accents that Max and Hunter have. Glad you're back, boys. Who's this you brought with you? Sigrid feels reassured to hear another British person. His accent originates from somewhere in London. Everyone, this is Sigrid. We found her in one of the rooms. Same story as us. Um, hello. Hmm. Nice to meet you, Sigrid. If only it were under more pleasant times. I'm Luba, by the way. The scary lady is Leah. This tall gentleman here is Dushane. Sigrid guesses that Luba's accent is Russian. Can you remember anything useful at all? <sighs> I'm afraid not. My memories are not very clear. Indeed. It's bizarre that none of us can remember how we got here. I remember I was chilling in my room, smoking and admiring my art collection. That's it. Your art collection? Is that code for something nasty? Nah, mate. What are you talking about? I'm a serious art collector. Hunter hey, gives the shit. I'm not judging. We all do it. The Shane grumbles and quickly deflects the line of uh, questioning. And what were you doing, kid? I was doing a bit of research on the net. It felt like a pretty standard evening, except I felt afraid of something. Yeah, research on the internet can be scary if you've never been with a woman before. Hey! Now, now, boys. Let's all try to get along. We're just playing. No harm done. Well, as for me, I was working on my computer. Programming, to be exact. Trying to fix a bug in some software I was making. It was a typical Friday night for me. My parents didn't let me out of the house much. Why so quiet, Max? Everything just feels like deja vu to me. Sigrid, what about you? I remember entering a dark room, and there was a buzzing noise. And that's it. I don't even remember why I was there in the first place. Leah, what about you? I was with some soldiers on a boat in the ocean, surrounded by flames. Whoa! Are you messing with us? I'm not a child. What would I gain from lying to you? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean it that way. It's just that your story sounds... intense. Not to be rude, but do you think that's how you got those scars? I'm reasonably sure it was. I was receiving treatment by a medic on the deck. A few of us have scars. Maybe you and Ethan were both in that ocean together? Ethan? Ah, yes. There's two more of us. Ethan and Bates are still out searching, I presume. Ethan's scars look more like knife wounds. 
Mine are bones. Have you all been here for a long time? We all woke up here about six hours ago. Not that you can tell what time of day it is, without clocks or sunlight. Since then, we've been taking time to explore for a way out. We haven't made much progress. There's something wrong with this place. It's a giant maze with no windows in any of the rooms. Silence fills the room for a moment. Hey, Max, you also got that scar on your lip. Maybe you were a boxer or something before this. That's from a cleft palate surgery, Hunter. Another Brit with scars littering his arms and face, Sigurd feels somewhat comfortable by the calm tone hey, of his voice. You're back. Everyone I think will be needing your... Oh. I see we have a new addition to our growing team. An older gentleman with a German accent, Sigurd can guess that he must have been in the military from his attire. Sigurd, this is Bates and Ethan. Bates is sort of our leader. Guys, this is Sigrid. We found her in one of the other rooms. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sigrid. Max? We already questioned her on what she knows, but it seems she's as clueless as the rest of us. I see. Sigrid, it seems we found ourselves caught up in the same circumstances. We're all working to figure this out. It makes sense to work together. Can we count on your cooperation? Of course. I want to get back home. Good. I will hold you to that, Sigrid. Hey, Ethan. Got yourself a new bag? We found this in our travels, and it was full of medical supplies. I recognize most of the things in there. We found it in an infirmary, which could come in handy. Beyond that, we found an intersection in one of the hallways we explored. Since it splits into four directions, we need everyone's help to investigate the area. We'll all go in pairs. If you find something interesting, please report back to this room. Is it safe to walk around here? From what we've seen, the hallways are safe. If you run into trouble, shout for help, and the rest will come running. Let's stick with this room as our meetup point. We'll take two hours for this excursion. Just estimate the time, since we don't have watches. Pair up, everyone. Let's get searching. Shall we team up, Sigrid? What do you say? I... Sure, why not? Great, let's go. So, how are you feeling? Honestly, this is a lot to take in. It's like I've been working on a paper and haven't slept for days. Are you a university student then? From what I can recall, yes. Hey, it's funny that you said university instead of college. Aren't you American? <laughs> Damn! You're observant. I'm actually from Korea. My parents paid for me to learn English, and my teacher was from the UK. But I was a massive fan of American TV shows, so their way of speaking rubbed off on me. That's cool. What did you do outside of here? I recall something. A game I played a lot. Sometimes I daydream of playing it, like in a tournament, you know? I think the game was my job. It's called... well... I can't recall the name, but it's a five-on-five -five battle arena. My main character was this little guy that sat in a robot. He could shoot, had a flamethrower, a shield, and sometimes he would overheat and... Yeah, I'm sure you don't care about any of that. 
He's pretty passionate about that topic. Hmm. Are you talking about that game that they showed on TV sometimes? I think I played that too. Yes, that's the one! That's so cool! Now I'm happy we found you. What's your handle? We should link up once we get out of here. I'll let you know as soon as it comes back to me. Ugh, God, my head. I hate this feeling. Do you think we were drugged? I don't think so. Ethan said we probably would have suffered some noticeable side effects. So, um... Can, can I talk to you about something? Please don't be something weird. Um, sure. I didn't mention this to anyone earlier, but I did some exploring on my own. Did you? Yep. I happened to find something, too. I didn't mention it to the others since Bates told us to always stick together. I didn't want to get scolded by the old man. To be honest, I planned to lead us there and make it look like we stumbled upon it by chance. You can consider me revealing my devious plans to you as a sign of trust. Hunter grabs the we handle of a nearby door. Together, after all. Hunter opens the door and the pair steps inside. A police station? Why is this here? I didn't explore this place on my own for long, but it seems more like a movie set or a replica. The door slams shut with a startling crush. Jesus! Did someone follow us? Yo, is someone there? Silence. After a pause, Hunter moves to grab the door handle before realizing there isn't Sigrid, one. Look at this side of the door. It's some kind of puzzle. I don't see any way to open it. I guess we're going to have to find another way out then. Okay, this is interesting. Okay guys, so I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna leave you <laughs> to discover more. As I said, wishlist the game on Steam. The game will be released on 4th of August. And uh, when it comes out, make sure to purchase it to support Michael Joseph in his development process. Thank you very much for watching, make sure to check out the links in the description and many thanks to the creator of the game for sponsoring this video through the IndieBoost platform, link in the description.